Welcome back guys, so just yesterday I showed you the performance of Palworld running on my Steam Deck and ROG Ally. Today I'll be showing you how to install Luke FC's FSR3 frame generation mod in this game on both of these devices. Palworld uses Unreal Engine 5, it supports DLSS version 3.1. By default it runs in DirectX 11 mode, in order to switch to DirectX 12 mode, we need to add a launch parameter to the game in our Steam library, dash DX12. This will give us access to DLSS subscalar setting, but it only works on RTX based GPUs. This is where Luke FC's mod come into play. It will just replace DLSS with FSR3. Unfortunately, when we enable frame generation in this game, game's HUD elements flicker. But you can still use the FSR3 upscaler. It definitely helps in improving the performance on Steam Deck. I have already explained the functioning and setup process of Luke FC's mod. You need to subscribe to Luke's Patreon page in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. At the time of recording this video, the latest version of the mod is 0.10.1. Their monthly Patreon subscription costs around 6.01 US dollars. It's not recommended to play the game in online mode with the mod installed, so I'll be playing in the offline mode. Without this mod installed, the FPS on Steam Deck in this game stays around 30 using the low preset. So first I'll show you how to install the mod on SteamOS. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. Extract the contents of common mod files archive file. I have already done that. You need to copy these two files win mm.ini and dll open the games install directory this game is also available on pc game pass but this mod will not work with that version of the game as it is outdated select the game in your steam library right click click on manage then click on browse local files this is the games install directory open pal folder open binaries folder open win64 folder and paste the files here now you need to copy the mods ASI file corresponding to SDK. I have already extracted the ASI file. There it is. Copy. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Right here. A TUML file will be generated when you launch the game for the first time. So all you need to do is start the game. Wait for the menu to load up and then close the game. Before starting the game we need to add a launch parameter. Just open Steam. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog here. I am using Proton Experimental as the compatibility layer for this game. Click on general tab. This is the launch parameter that you need to add. I will provide it in the description of the video. You can just copy it from there and paste it here. Dash TX12 command will make the game run in direct text 12 mode. Close it. Launch the game. Wait for the menu to pop up. The black window with locks indicate that the mod is working. We are in the menu. If you go to the graphics setting, you will notice DLSS option is available, but you cannot access it. Close the game. Go back to the directory where you pasted the mod files. Here you will find a TML file. There it is. Need to open it. Make a few changes here. Just change the value of fake underscore NVIDIA underscore GPU from false to true. Do the same thing for AMD Unreal Engine DLSS workaround. Now click on file, click on save. Close this file. We are ready to run the game. I'll switch back to Steam Gaming Mode. Using the same compatibility layer, I have connected DualSense Control to Steam Deck via Bluetooth mode. Black window with logs. We are in. Performance tab. Only level set to 2. I have checked disable frame limit and alert airing setting. Uncap the FPS. And that's it. Now go to graphic setting. 800p resolution. I'm using the low preset. In order to enable frame generation, you need to set anti aliasing to TSR and DLSS to any of its presets. I'll select quality. Start the game apply the settings open world survival game we are accompanied by our pals again to pokemons and you can see coasting around the character model games hot elements are flickering fps is around 80 i can observe the performance improvement the added smoothness it's definitely noticeable at the moment we don't have any fix for this flickering 
this may change in the future so you can disable the frame generation component of fsr3 only use the upscaler just go to options first disable dlss this is basically fsr3 now set anti-aliasing to anything other than tsr i'll just set it to ta now i'll set dlss to quality again go back previously we were getting around 70 to 80 fps now we are getting around 60 fps and you can see that flickering is gone image quality looks nice oh my god what kind of a pal is this seems to be a friendly one <laughs> attack them <laughs> it hit hell get it still we are getting around 50 fps few chase here and there yeah this pal is strong level 11 i'll summon my pal another one need its help that did a lot of damage ok i'll try to capture it so for the timing i beg your pardon for the timing just use the upscaler component of fsr3 i'll just disable fsr3 now show you the vanilla performance of FPS drop down to around 40 let me just roam around forty to forty four with the upscaler enable FPS was within a range of fifty to sixty now I'll show you the mod setup process on ROG LA Windows eleven most of the steps are the same on Windows first extract the contents of common mod files archive file I have already done that copy the two archive file open the games directory select the game in your stream library go to manage click on browse local files there's the games install directory open pal folder open binaries folder open win64 folder paste the files here now we need to copy the mods asf file corresponding to sdk extracted it and there it is copy paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files in this directory where shipping.exe file is present before launching the game add this launch option dash dx12 this window will pop up show you some logs mod is working waiting for the menu to pop up then i'll close the game tuml file will be generated we are in anti-lag is enabled from amd's adrenaline software using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance matrix for this game i've set the uml buffer size to 6 gb ROG Ally is running on BIOS version 3.3.6 Command Center Settings I am using a 25W manual profile All 3 values of power are set at 25W CPU boost disabled 720p resolution not using RSR Go to Graphics Setting DLSS is not accessible I am using the medium preset Anti-Lizing set to TSR 720p resolution Close the game Go back to the install directory look for the tuml file there it is at the end open it using notepad need to make a few changes here just set fake nvidia gpu and amd unreal engine dlss workaround to true by default they are set to false click on file click on save close the file we are ready to run the game just to remind you again don't run the game in online mode with the mod installed graphics setting same settings as before anti-lazing set to tsr dlss set to quality start the game we are in here fps is around 110 this is just insane and you can see games hard elements are flickering it does not matter if your pc has an nvidia or an amd based gpu I have already tested this mod on my windows pc that has an rtx 2070 super gpu but this flickering of games interface was still present i'll just disable frame generation now and just set anti-lazing to anything other than tsr 
enable DLSS quality preset apply the setting back to the game games hurt is not flickering anymore yeah much better FPS is staying within a range of 70 to 80 game us nicely even this way I'll take out this pal <laughs> it's running away I do have a bow took the shot capture it monkey like poke I pack up on pal I keep calling them pokemons captured it here FPS is around 79 I'll just disable DLSS now didn't observe any ghosting with DLSS enabled off now observe the FPS counter yeah FPS dropped down to around 60 so we gained about 20 FPS using DLSS which is actually FSR 3 50 to 60 FPS so that's it with the video guys, I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.